KPM. Ooh. Hey, Hanif, sit still. Ooh. I'm drawing a nice picture of you. <sighs> Don't move. Smile a bit, smile a bit, come on. Mm. Yes, mm. that looks good. All right, mm. it's ready. Hey, Ta da! Hey? No, that is not me. That that looks like a monster. <laughs> you. I'm um, just kidding. Okay, okay, I'll draw a better one for you. Don't I'm be a monster. Don't, 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 don't. Oh. Okay, I'll draw again. I'll draw again. I'm gonna chase you there. Trying to solve this shape, it's all okay. Hey, hi, hello everyone. I hope you're all doing well at home. You are now watching D Day TV KPM on the level one slot. And of course, my name is Hanif Sean. What are we going to learn together today? Ha, ah, it's gotta be English for year one, our very favorite subject. And I'm sure all of you have already seen our teacher's profile and he drew me as a monster. Hmm. I was very angry, but it's fine, it's fine, it's all good now. And with me definitely is Mr. Ma. How are you, Mr. Ma, today? Fine, thank you. Hi, Hanif, and hi to all the pupils watching the show. Hello. Yeah. Hello, Mr. Ma, and yeah. I'm sure Mr. Ma is very excited to share with us what we're going to learn together, but of course, we also have our interpreter, which is Teacher Buhari. Hello, Teacher Buhari. Yes, and we can address him as Mr. BQ. How are you, Mr. BQ? Yes, he's doing well there. He is also so energetic. And Mr. Ma, can you just give us a bit, what is the title or the topic right. that we're going to learn together? Okay, so today we are learning about shapes, okay? The topic for today's lesson is shapes all around us, all right? Sh shapes yeah. all around us. That's I'm right. seeing a lot of shapes here. And in fact, it wouldn't just be us here. That's right, that's there are right. Four of our pupils also joining us online. Can you wave at us here? How are you, everyone? Hi. Oh, there they are, all excited, all energetic. Yes, Mr. Ma, may I get your help to introduce our sure. pupils one okay. by one? Okay, so first we have Serena Chua Yun Si. Hi, Serena. Can you just wave at us? And hi, Mummy, as well. That is Serena. And next, we have Wong Ming Wei from SJKC Zhonghua Jitra. Hi, Ming Wei. Okay, hi, Ming Wei and Mummy. And next up, we have On Jing Si from SJKC Kethua K. Hi, Jing Si. And hi, Mummy. And finally, we have Eng Yen Si from SJKC Kethua S. Hi, Yen Si. And hi, Mummy there. So these are our friends here on Google Meet today. Right, so they are very energetic. We are seeing the mummies as well. They are very energetic as right, well. Right, right. And Mr. Ma, can you share with us our learning standards? Sure. So for learning standards today, we are going to... It's basically a language arts lesson where we need to respond imaginatively, imaginatively and intelligibly through creating simple arts and craft products. Okay, and also for complementary, we learn to name and describe objects. So today, we are learning to name at least three shapes correctly and the objects in those shapes as well as to draw a picture using the shapes and describe them so let us start by knowing the shapes first okay first we have this this is a rectangle okay a rectangle and this is a circle i'm sure circle we've seen that this is a square okay a square and this Hmm. It's a triangle, a triangle, and finally we have a parallelogram. Wow. Okay, I have yeah. to learn to say that well. Parallelogram. Yes. That's right. Okay, so now after knowing the shapes, we need to identify objects in those shapes. So, for example, this is a hazard sign, right? It is. So, Hanif, this is in the shape of a. I believe that would be a triangle that's right so this is in the shape of a triangle now let's look at the objects here can anyone tell me our pupils on google meet all right what about can you name me an object which is circle in shape or which object is in the shape of a circle anyone on google meet if you look at the things up here all oh, right yes. yen si, can you just turn on your mic and let me know yen si? 
Which one? Which one is a circle, Yancy? Which one? A wheel. Yes, a wheel is a circle, but I think that's in the car. But what about this, the objects here? Can you see the objects that I have in front of me? Can anyone tell me which of this is in the shape of a circle? Yes, Mingwei. Mingwei, can you turn on the mic and tell me, Mingwei? Mingwei, raise both hands. Mingwei, raise both hands. Sorry? Clock. Yes, this is a clock. The clock is in the shape of a circle. Good. What about the shape of a square? Can anyone tell me which of these items is in the shape of a square? Anyone? Yes, Jingxi. Jingxi? Which of these is in the shape of a square? Black. Sorry, can you say louder? Black. The plate. The plate. Oh, oh the is plate is in the shape of a plate? circle, but in a square. In the shape of a square. Which one? Which do you think is in the shape of a square, Jingxi? Can you try again? It's okay. We we'll just try. What? Which of this is in the shape of a square? Is it this picture uh -huh. or is it this uh, plate? Which do you think, Jingxi? Which of this is in the shape of a square? Is it the picture? Or the plate? Photo yes, the photo frame. Oh, she calls it a photo frame. That's right. It's a photo frame of a picture. Well done. Okay, and the last one. The last one. Can anyone see any shape of a parallelogram here? Hmm. Hmm. What about Hanif? Do you, can you see challenge. any shapes of a, a, a parallelogram? I think that I, is one of the more difficult ones. I think I could see from this. The sign uh -huh. here. Ah, actually, what is this? Yes. Raise this up. Yes. All right. So I think this is a parallelogram. Is yes. It right, I think Mr. we have seen this warning tape all around. Yes. And actually, if you look carefully within the warning tape itself, there are two shapes there. Okay. Or in fact, you if it is long, then it is a rectangle. But if you cut it out, it's actually a parallelogram. And also, we have the erasers here. Ah. They are also in the shape of a parallelogram. Right. Okay, so for this segment, we have learned the different types of shapes. Okay, we have the triangle, we have the square, parallelogram, rectangle, and also circle. And our pupils managed to name some objects in those shapes. So let's give them a clap for that. Yes, and did they get stars as well? Yes, Mr. let's Mark? give them all one star and a big clap for participating. Yes, well done. Well. This is your star here, which I'm going to do throughout the show. Whenever you get stars, whenever you get marks. Yes. Right, Mr. So, Mark? That's right. So pupils at home, just look around, look at the objects at home, and see which are the objects in these different kinds of shapes as your practice. Okay, right. back to and, you. And of course, there are a lot of shapes that you can see at home. So we are going to take a short break right now. While we take a short break, you can have a glass of water while you walk around and check out the shapes that you have at home. Talk to your mums and discuss with them. Hmm, I think that's a square. I think that's a circle. We're going to take a short break. Do not go anywhere. KPM And you are now back on DD TV KPM watching the level 1 slot and together we are learning English for year 1 and with me is Mr Ma Mr Ma Hi. has been talking to us about shapes That's shapes right. all around us so yeah Mr yeah. Ma so I'm sure there are a lot of shapes here and are we going to play a bit of a game right now Yes in this segment we are going to play with shapes okay but first let me introduce what a tangram is okay actually a tangram is a puzzle which consists of seven pieces of smaller shapes right we have two large triangles okay they are the large triangles and then we have one medium-sized triangle okay medium-sized triangle and we have two small triangles right so they are all together five triangles, two large, one medium, two smalls. We also have a square and a parallelogram. Okay, so this is a tangram. What we are doing in this section is I would like you to read some simple instructions and play with a tangram. Okay, so let's look at an example on how to make a bird. 
okay, how to make a bird. So these are the instructions, okay? How to make a bird? First, use a large triangle, a square and a small triangle to make its body. Then, use a medium triangle to make its head. Use a large triangle and a small triangle to make its wings and use the parallelogram to make its tail. So now, our pupils on Google Meet and maybe Hanif as well, yes. let's play with it. Okay, let's try to make the shape of a bird using this tangram following the instructions. So first, we need a large triangle, a square and a small triangle to make the body. So how can we do it? Okay, so let's try. We have the large triangle okay the small triangle and a square perhaps that is to make the that is to make the body okay you can try it at home pupils on google meet okay and we use a medium triangle to make the head okay let's see the head of the bird so i've already used the first line yes i use a large triangle a square and a small triangle to make its body mm -hmm. now we're going to make the head the head yes and um, now the wings we need the large triangle as well as the small triangle to make the wings okay let's be creative let's be creative and think how does a bird look like and finally the parallelogram as the tail so this is my version of the bird what about our pupils on google meet okay can you try playing with that Oh, I see Hanif is trying his best as well to play with it. Um, staying very focused yes. on doing, creating this bird. Okay. Right. So, now let us see our friend's answer on Google Meet. If you are done, can you please show us? Raise ah, oh, wow. right. Okay. So, we have got the medium triangle as the head, the big, the large triangle, the square and the small triangle as the body, the parallelogram as the tail and also a big and small triangle as the wings okay did you get it as well I, I believe i got it as ah, well mr ma right splendent with colors yes. here, including our pupils at home okay so now let's try to ask our pupils to do it on their own by reading these instructions okay shall we now the question is how to make a cat so please read these instructions okay my pupils at home and can you please try so first Use two large triangles and the medium triangle to make the body. Use a square as his head. Use two small triangles to make its ears. And also use the parallelogram to make its tail. So pupils on Google Meet and also pupils at home, please try to do it. Okay, read the instructions carefully and use the tangram to make the shape of a cat. Okay, so should we try that? Yes, I'm exploring it right now, Mr. Ma, and I'm, I hope I'm getting it right. It's Oops. okay. I think there are many different ways of doing it. So as long as we are, you know, let's, let's imagine, let's be creative and think about what's the best way to do it. I think my cat has one of its ah. ears dropped though. Ah, your ah, there you go. Uh, I hey. think I'm done with my cat. How are the pupils at home? How are pupils on, on Google Meet? Wow, I think you're all very focused. Oh, wow. We already see Mingwei's cats there. And we have Serena. There's a right. nice cat. So they are ready, aren't yeah. they? Yeah. Looking all regal. Yancy's cat is sitting and standing. And of course, Jingxi. Oh, nice. Your okay, cat. so now let's look at that. Oh, they have Seems different types of cats. Yeah. They are very creative. Seems to be a hugging. Ah. Opening out its arms. Okay, so but let's check. Do they have the square and the small triangles as the head and ears? Yes, they've got it. Okay, have they got the two large triangles and the medium triangle as the body? Yes, all of them got it as well. And also the parallelogram as the tail. Correct, very well done. Okay, so those are the shapes. Okay, you can use the shapes to make a cat. And we see, aha, Ta -da. we have different types. Mine is like this. Ten. Okay, Hanif, and theirs are different. So we can use the tangram, the shapes to make different, uh, different patterns, okay, by reading the instructions and just be creative, okay? So in this part, we learn to read instructions and also do it. And finally, let's try one more, shall we? Let's try okay. one more. How to make a swan. Now, these are the instructions. Let's see whether our pupils can make it. Okay, first, 
use two large triangles and the medium triangle to make its body, use the parallelogram and a small triangle to make its neck, hmm. use the square to make the head and also a small triangle to make the beak, okay, the beak of a swan. Now let's see whether our pupils are are able to read the instructions to understand it and also make the swan. Right, so uh, I'm also crafting my swan here. I'm keeping in mind the instructions which says two large triangles and the medium triangle to make its body. But I think I'm almost done, Mr. Ma. You're almost done? I'm almost done. There uh -huh. you go. Oh, my what swan What about my pu What about the pupils? Are they ready? Ah, ah, you see, Serena is done. Serena is done. Well done. Yes. It's very quick. Okay, and they are still, the rest, they are still. If you are done, can you please show us on the screen? Okay, well done, Serena. Okay, let's check Serena's answer. Have she, has she got the two large triangle huh. and the medium triangle as the body? That looks like yes. it. Yes. The parallelogram and the small triangle as the neck. That's right. <laughs> the square as the head and also the small triangle as the beak. Well done. So Jinxi, nice. Mingwei, Serena and also Yinxi, all of them got it. Well done. Let's give them a clap and yes. a star as well. Do we give them stars? Yes. yes, please. We do give all of them three stars for trying. And three for stars for each of you. We're doing this star cheer. Yay. And they are able to read the instructions and play with them. All right, so that's what we learned in this segment, Hanif. Yes, and I think I have a bit of a variety there. Aha. Where my swan is looking yeah, up. Yeah, it's looking up. Oh, <laughs> regal, looking and beautiful. And of course, there are so many more shapes that we can do. So many more shapes, so many more perhaps animals or shapes yes. of houses that we can that's do right. with grams where you can play with all these small shapes, yeah? And pupils at home, if you have a 10 gram there, or you could even maybe draw it out. Yep. Can they draw it out? Yes, they can one? draw it out, they can cut it, and then they can play with it. Yes, definitely. So continue to play with that because we're going to take a short break, explore your mind, explore your imagination while you play with 10 grams. We're going to take a short break. Do not go anywhere. Stay tuned with us on d -Date TV, KPM. KPM And welcome back today on Didate TV KPM Level 1 slot. We are learning shapes around us. What shapes do you see on my jacket here? I'm seeing squares. Oh, look at the button. It's a circle. And definitely with me is Mr. Ma. Mr. Ma, we have there have been so many things that we have done yes. and I see that you uh, you have drawn something there. Uh -huh. Are we going to draw together with the pupils at home? That's right. In this section, okay, our pupils on Google Meet and also pupils all around Malaysia, we are going to do some drawing activity. Okay? So what I would like you to do is actually just to take a piece of paper. Right? We are going to use the shapes, the different shapes that we have learned to draw a picture. Okay? So this is the instruction. Use the shapes to draw a picture, whatever you like. It can be an animal, an object or anything. And we also need to learn to talk about it. We have to describe it. So for example, when we are describing a picture, what are the things that we can say? Okay, well, perhaps we can say what it is. We have to tell our friends what the thing is. And then we can say the color and size. We can also say what you do with it. For example, you play with it, you sleep on it, you live with it, or what it can do if it is an animal, okay? And say if you like it or not. Okay, so let's do an example. Shall we draw a picture as oh, well? Oh, yes. Okay, so Hello. let's say I've drawn, I used the different shapes to draw a picture here. Okay, and right. So if you look at it, Ah, so for example, I'll say, this is a car. It is big, okay? It can move and it is colourful, okay? So now, pupils at home and pupils on Google Meet, please try it. And while you're doing it, let's watch a video. Hello, I'm Rushdie. This is my battleship. It has a cannon in the shape of a rectangle. The flags are all triangle. Hi, I am Dorothy. This is my fire but I use triangle, circle, square, and rectangle to make my robot. I play with my robot on Friday. My name is Jill here and this is my rocket. I 
a huge circle, rectangle, triangle, and square to run croquet. I wish one day I could go on a rocket. Wow, wow, wow. There's so many shapes that our pupils shared with us and they look so wonderful, so creative. Would you agree with yes, me, Mr. Yes, I Ma? agree. They are really creative, okay? And I think our pupils on Google Meet have also done their part. So now, let's listen to them and see what they have drawn. Shall we have uh, Jingxi first? Jingxi, can you show us your picture and talk about your picture, Jingxi? That's beautiful, right? Very nice. Yes, Jingxi. <laughs> this is a uh, it is purple. It is small. It is cute and beautiful. Yes, it is oh. cute and beautiful, just like Jingxi, right? I Hayef? agree. Oh, well done, Jingxi. So that is a doll. Now let's have Serena. Hi, Serena. Can you show us your picture? Wow, it's so beautiful that picture. Serena, oh. can you talk? Tell us what your picture is. This is a big orange sand. Right. This is a bird. Okay. This is a big orange cat. Right. These are flowers. Yes, and the cat is in the shape of a circle, right? So well done, Serena. That is so beautiful. Congratulations. Good job. And next, let's have Ming Wei. Ming Wei, can you show us what you have drawn, Ming Wei? This is my dream house. It's, it is big. I can play inside the house. Right. It is my, a, mm. my house got four colors. It's red, yellow, brown and orange. Oh, it's a very colorful house. Good job, Ming Wei. Can I live in your house as well? Okay, thank you, Ming Wei. <laughs> and finally, let's have Yen Si. Yen Si, can you show us your picture? Yes, Yen Si. This is my dream house. I use many shapes like circle, square, rectangle, and parallelogram. It is orange. It is big and tall. Right, I so wish that I could in my dream house when I grew up. Okay, thank you. Well done, Yenzi. Can you give them a clap? Yes. I mean, all of them can get a star and a clap for, a for doing a great job. Stars and claps for all of you. Well done, well done. Congratulations. I right. think those drawings were very beautiful. Yes, done. yes, they are. So in this section, they have learned how to use different shapes to draw and also to describe the pictures. So I think, Hanif, for today's lesson, I think all the pupils have done really, really well. They can name the shapes, they can name the objects, they can draw and they can talk about it. So well done to all pupils. And I'm sure the pupils at home, you can also look at Sumbaku portal for the different uh, practices that you have there. Right? right, that is so exciting. Congratulations to all our pupils at home, our pupils online for making all those beautiful drawings. Definitely that can be expanded into something more creative and bigger. And with that, we definitely would like to thank our teacher today, Mr. Ma. Thank you so thank much you. for teaching us today. I think we learned so much more about shapes. And of course, we have our interpreter, Mr. BQ or Mr. Buhari there. Thank you so much, Mr. Buhari. And our peoples at home, thank you so much for staying tuned with us today. I really hope you learned a lot, you enjoyed our lessons. Go to Sumbaku to check out more resources for you to expand your knowledge. And my name is Hanif Sean. I hope to see you again. Bye everyone.